This is Trevor and Caroline inviting you to join us as we travel around Australia while transitioning from full-time work to semi-retirement. Come along. Just pulled up at a rest area between Batuta and uh, Birdsville for a potty break opposite the rest area. It's the serpent on the hill. Chooks off getting some photos. between Windora and Charleville would have had to have the most uh, amount of roadkill that we'd seen since leaving Perth. Another nice camping spot at Quilpie. Thank you, Wiki Caps. Possibly a bit of a hoon area on the weekends. Middle of the week, it's just us silly old people. Up in the top of that tree is a kite or a hawk's nest. I'm not a birdie person, but uh, we spent ages last night taking photos of them feeding. We didn't even notice them until Caroline saw one of them carrying a snake up to the nest. I don't know if you can see, but in the branch just below the nest, there's one of the parents and the other parents up on actually on the nest at the moment.
basically we're not surviving on what we catch. Oh. Fred's not going in for bait. Fred's not going in for bait, no. no. Liquid. Liquid than the other. Yeah. Oh, it's a scientific experiment now. Yeah. Mmm. Yes. Oh, we got something. We got a yabby. Yay! Just one. And what can is that? This is the dine desire. Okay, the dine was the more solid one. Well, he can stay in there. Yeah, he can call his friends. Morning. Trick and I have taken a little trip away from Birdsville for a little bit. We've got to go back for the bash, but uh, because we were <coughs> stuck there for... 14 days waiting for the solar panel to arrive. Um, we decided we'd, we'd do a little bit of exploring, which is what we were going to do anyway. But, um, we weren't going to spend so long in Burswell to start with. So we've made our way to Charleville. We'd heard that there was a, a red rooster in town, and there's not. But we did find a warm barbecued chook in the IGA, which was good enough for us. So anyway, we're, uh, we're going to be camped down for a few days on the, the Ward River. There is a, a free camp down there. No time limit. As long as we look after them, uh, they'll still be here. So, uh, we went and brought a, a couple of yabby traps yesterday. Uh, when we'd camped down here Cooper's Creek, we'd spotted a heap of uh, remains from somebody's feast and we thought well, we'd give it a go so last night we put the traps out and uh, so far we've caught one yabby and two tiny little cherubim that could easily fit through the mesh of the, the trap but I think they're just too lazy so they've all gone back and, uh, and I had to have toast for breakfast so I'll give you a, a bit of a look around our, our campsite. Um, it was very quiet. We had neighbours on the other side of a tree last night uh, and they left early this morning while I was doing the dishes. There's apparently a lot of yellow belly in the river, some cod. The guy at the fishing shop said because uh, we we commented that we'd seen fish rise, and he said, "Yeah, they'll be they'll be yellow belly." Uh, but if I can't catch a <laughs> if I can't catch a yabby, I doubt very much I'd be able to catch a yellow belly. So this was the only bay or campsite available when we got here yesterday. So being nice, we've camped right down one end of it. There's enough room up the other end if another small camper trailer or whatever wants to get here. You might be able to see the, the ropes down there. They're uh, one of our yabby traps. It is beautiful. Absolutely freezing cold last night. I got the uh, diesel heater on this morning before I even got out of bed. And then restoke the fire. Well, I'm possibly going to do a uh, a roast pork on the um, on the fire today. I have a, a battery powered rotisserie. Um, well, um, if I if the batteries haven't gone flat, I'll we brought a nice roast pork at the IGA, so I'll um, I'll do a nice roast pork tonight. I might even show you how it turned out. 
our first roast on the rotisserie. Let's see how we go. It's going to be delicious. Lovely roast pork for tea tonight. Chucky's sitting with her back to me. She's not being rude. She's just trying to study without the sun in her eyes. Fixed our old solar panel today. A little bit of bush ingenuity. I wouldn't trust it as a primary solar panel, but it'll do as a, a standby one and to keep Elon Musk's battery going in the back of the ute. Looking good. And there is a tender, juicy roast pork. Mm. With lovely crackling. I'm just not sharing it with the flies, but I will share it with Caroline. Juicy pork, crispy crackle. And if there's any leftovers, it'll be roast pork sandwiches tomorrow. Lovely. Glorious end. A nice day. Just the slightest breath of wind. A beautiful colour in the sky. And it's going to be cold tonight, isn't it, Chuck? Absolutely. And that means. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed with the remote for the diesel heater so I can get it started before I even get my backside out of bed in the morning. And it'll be nice and toasty hot several hours later when somebody else gets out of bed. It's a dud. And the tin's empty. Little buggers. Just the one. No, oh, he seems to have grown. <laughs> I think we'll let oh, him. Oh, and a cherubin. Oh, and a cherubin. Let's have a look. Let me get down for you. Oh, if you just bring it over. Oh, yeah, look. So, they are tasty. I think we might need more than one. Yeah. So, we'll let them go. He's a decent sized yabby, Trev. In our family, his name would be George. Hello, no, George. No, bro. No. Uh, you're a lucky bugger, being the only one. Well, I can still boil him for you and you no. can have a taste. No, we'll wait till we get more. We'll okay, get George. Feed. Bye bye. Bye, George. I ran out of water today, which was lucky, so uh, we had to go into town. Uh, we got a water, drinking water tap. And we filled the bladder up, so that runs to this pump, to the battery. And then, we should have been closer, but we're using the back of the car as a clothesline. There's Chuck. Hey guys. Uh, She's uh, being good. very useful because we're we're at full stretch of nearly the hose. She's got to hang hang onto it, and um, and that's how we that's how we get our water when we we can't get the caravan back in somewhere. We um we use that bladder.
the beautiful sounds of the bush in the morning along with the diesel heater and the kettle the beautiful sounds of the modern bush in the morning not a ripple on the water 